Hey, what's happening folks? Ryan from My Mobile Rescue here. Wants to do another video on soldering the iPad mini digitizer to this IC chip that's come on the first generation iPad mini. And um, really I want to make this video to do the video to do the solder job with Flux and to do it in the more advanced way that we have learned how to do it and not take 40 minutes in doing it without Flux so that we could really explain some of the subtleties, which you can still find in that video. It's still up. Uh, but for those of you who are advanced in soldering or who want a different way to do it, definitely a better way because flux is a material that's much more facilitative for the flow of solder than this is the video. So uh, so here we are. It's already attached to this digitizer or at least taped down and lined up to the IC chip rather. This is tape. This stuff here is tape. I don't know if you can see it, but it's clear. This is the small piece of facilitative tape that uh, connects the LCD and a part of the iPad mini when you take it apart. Use whatever tape you want, but just be careful when you pull this tape off, this tape off, after you're done soldering. The reason we're doing this is because clearly lining everything up exactly is critically important. Without it, you'll have malfunctions and it won't work correctly. So uh, the first thing we're going to do after we have it taped and in place so that we can solder it is I'm just going to apply a bunch of flux to it. So this is flux and a Q-tip. So it's a good enough amount of flux. I don't want it gobbed all over the place because I want to be able to see what I'm doing. And uh, if there's too much flux, it'll be like this hissing sound, like the soldering iron's burning the flux, and it won't facilitate the flow of solder as best as it can. Um, and so now here's um, th what's worked particularly well for us is really thick solder. You see how thick that is compared to this as a, as a bit of perspective? That's thick solder. This is just a solder roll. It's like a roll of solder, very thick solder. This is a pretty precision soldering iron. It's an IU uh, 937 plus. You can get them on Amazon for 40 bucks. It's not rocket science, and this isn't a crazy piece of machinery, and it does the job. The solder tip is pretty clean, and we got our flux on our digitizer here, and now we're going to go ahead and just put a little bit of solder on the end. This is kind of the critical part. If I can get to show it here really just have to get solder on the end of the iron so it sticks. Sometimes it doesn't stick. And if you don't have thick enough, a thick enough uh, you know, strand of solder here, which you can cover the entire end of your soldering iron and get it on there, then it may not stick enough. It's critical that the solder sticks to the end of the iron so you can take it and uh, transfer it then to your iPad mini digitizer. All right, so then we got some stuck on there. Okay, should be good. So now we're gonna go in. I just wanna hit a corner. I just want to dab a corner and get it sticking. Okay, so that's the corner. I'm going to kind of touch it. While I'm at it, I'm going to hit this one. Nail down as many as I can, as many as this will let me do as the solder continues to flow. Okay, as you see, I'm really just dabbing it. I'm doing it pretty clearly, pretty neatly. I'm not smashing into it. And I am applying a little bit of a restrictiveness, a little bit of resistance, so that I don't press down too hard, damage anything, etc. So now we've got five tracks done. As you see, it's really easy, and this is because of the flux. And because I have solder at the end of this iron here. It's just nicely and very flowingly transferring the solder. Looking good. So now, as you see, I'm going over these points and actually pressing down like that. I can make sure it actually married. So you got about, I don't know, what is that, eight, eight of them done or so. And we're going to do that exact same strategy through the entire process until it's done. So right now, I'm cleaning the end of the soldering iron just to get some of that stuff off of there. Make it clean again so that when I reconnect re, uh, the soldering iron with the solder, it distributes at the end of the iron the way that we want it to. Okay. I think there's, it's pretty safe to say there's still a good amount of flux uh, down there, so we're going to hang tight on putting more flux on for now. And I'm going to go forward with putting more solder at the end of my iron, and we're going back in.
So I think I need more solder. That's what could be happening here. Just to clean this up a little bit. So that, that sort of smoke stuff that's happening is because there's a lot of uh, flux getting burnt by the end of the iron. I'm going to get more solder. Clean the iron a little bit. And then get more solder on the end like so. Okay. Should be good going back in. I don't want that to move. As you see, I'm just dabbing the ends here. Just making sure I'm applying the solder, making sure it looks silver as if solder is on it. And then moving on to the next stuff. Kind of cleaning up whatever flux and uh, mess is in the way here so we can really see what we're dealing with. Make sure that we're getting all these points effectively. <sighs> Looking good. Move on, see if we got any more solder at the end of our iron here, and if we can milk this as long as we can. That's what you want to do, milk it as long as you can, just like anything else. Okay. Still working. I'm still able to transfer solder on. Still solder at the end of the iron. And I think at this point, we got to see if we can wipe off some of this flux see where we're at so we can get a clear look at what's happening and then uh, proceed from there. So I'm just going to take a Q-tip and uh, wipe some of this excess off to see where we're at. And you know, that is beautiful. All the spots are hit. Everything looks good so far. Yeah, everything looks really good. So I'm going to apply just a little bit more flux because we just wiped a lot of it off, or at least some of it. We're going to hit up on this part, because that's where we're going to be attacking next with our weapon called a soldering iron. And we're going back in. Let me just put some more solder at the end of my, at the end of the tip here. I'm just going to touch it on there. Well, my soldering iron is set to 400, so it takes a little bit of time to get some solder on the end of it. But uh, it seems the best for facilitation of the solder to be at 400. If it's too hot, it doesn't stick right. Uh, that's just my... And that's for this particular soldering iron. Who knows with other ones. Okay. But as you see, the solder sticks really great, and it's flowing really nicely. I'm going to make sure those points are really hit and it marries to the, the IC chip. That's the important part. You could put as much solder on top of the digitizer cable as you want and it could look as silver as possible. But if it doesn't marry, it's not going to work. So this is working out quite nicely and the solder is facilitating really pretty smoothly. Kind of almost done here. Wow, loving it. This is the benefit of having good flux and having it applied correctly, which we did not do in the other more longer, more narrative based video. We are now, and this works totally better. It's, I think it's pretty safe to say we got all of these solder points at this point. We just want to make sure there's no excess crap. We want to make sure that we uh, that we press down and and make sure that all these are are married, all these points. Are married to the IC chip 
or otherwise you'll you'll end up being in like settings uh, testing it and when you hit general and then spotlight search spotlight search will be like not responding or uh, or some other just part of it when you are on the home screen with all of the apps and you're touching it to see when it loses or if it loses touch functionality everywhere anywhere rather if uh, this isn't perfect then you may see some loss in touch functionality in certain spots <sighs> that's why you gotta really press down and hit those spots up okay so I think we're good here Let's clean some of that crap up and uh, and then we're gonna apply some alcohol to clean up any excess stuff and uh, let's see where we're at with this. So let me take. <clears throat> I'm just grabbing a Q-tip and dipping it in, um, in like a Tupperware container, a Tupperware thing of alcohol. Right here's the Q-tip. It's got alcohol in it, on it. And we're just gonna clean the end. See what we're looking at. That's it. Looks pretty good. All these points appear to be hit quite well none of the solder is sticking uh, so there's no like bridges they call them or connections between each solder point that's attaching to another one and uh, so I think we're good so uh, we're gonna test it like um, like any good video would while you are watching so we can see what the deal is here I'm just kinda cleaning the end of it because if there's uh, if there's flux on the end of it you wanna you wanna clean that stuff off all right, so bear with me as I grab an iPad mini and test this. Okay. That's where we're going to be plugging it in, right there, the top one. We got that plugged in. Sit right there. Now we're going to put the LCD in. And we're almost there. We're about 10 seconds out. Okay. Alright. So it's on. The LCD is in. We're not going to put any of the screws on. We're just going to test it. Turn it on. See what, see what we got. Clearly that LCD isn't the cleanest. We'll clean it before we seal it. This one came in as somebody already worked on it and were just fixing fixing it because they uh, didn't want to attempt the solder, the solder job. We really can't blame you on that one. Okay, so let's see where we're at. So there's a passcode, which stinks. But we can start and just test everything and make sure everything works. There's Q. I'm just going to test all these letters. Okay. Got everything. Yeah, this thing's beautiful. Good. Everything's good. Now I'm going to just test uh, whatever we can based on the fact that there's a passcode here. Let's see if I can test um, up top. A good uh, signification that it's working, um, like pulling the entire digitizer, is uh, it being able to stick with your finger. It stays on your finger, right, rather than letting go. If it lets go, that's when you know something's, something's up. If I could just keep this digitizer still, I can say, there we go. There we go. So if your if your finger, you know, if it stays like that, then what's up? See my reflection? Hey, what's up? It's me, Ryan. So now we got functionality. This isn't losing functionality at all. Um, we're on the top here. This is good. If you want to go further in devices that don't have pass or that do have passcodes that you can't get into, we really just have to call this guy and get into the passcode. Um, yeah, there we go. I just want to make sure. I'm on the side. here. Shift it over. I'm just trying to get you to see. All right, there we go. So if it maintains, which it does, then you know it's pretty 
safe bet that we're good. Of course, you want to get the password going there, test the functions, which is something we're going to do offline uh, with this customer. But now we're on this side and see everything seems to be fine. That's the biggest indicator that it, everything worked is if it doesn't lose such functionality and you can just keep your finger on it that way. And then we're good to go, my friends. So that was the iPad mini digitizer solder job. It's a, if you know how to solder and you take the time to learn really the intricacies of doing it right and applying the flux at the right, uh, in the right amount, uh, using a temperature controlled soldering iron at the right temperature and ensuring that you get enough solder at the end of the soldering iron so that you can distribute it as seemingly easy as we did, then um, you'll have a lot better of a shot of doing this effectively. But if you need us to do it for you, this is what we do. You can mail the device into us, even if you've already worked on it. If you're somebody thinking about DIYing it and this is a little bit too insane for you, please let us know and uh, to sign up for a repair online, and we'll have it back out to you soon. If, uh, if you want to reassemble the device, uh, but you don't want to do the soldering, if you're uncomfortable doing the soldering, that's something that we can do as well. Uh, we have a solder service. It's just a, a solder service that we can do. It's 100 bucks to just do both of the digitizer soldering onto the IC chip as well as the HomeFlex cable soldering. Um, you can sign up for that as well. And otherwise, if you like this, could you please do us an awesome favor and share it via Twitter? It helps us a lot, and it helps more people to become aware of it. And at some capacity, it's going to help our search engine rank rankings, which is good, because then more people can know about us and more people can use us, which is good. And that is self-serving, and that's okay. <laughs> okay? Thanks for watching. See you.